CJ Nerf video is rated KTPA, kid tested, parent approved, and is intended for all audiences. Hi everybody! Whoa! What's that? That's my wall. Is that your your war face? Yes. Yes. All right, guys. I decided to do something a little different with this flywheel revoltinator. As you guys might remember, for those of you that saw that video, the first flywheel blaster my son was actually able to finally shoot was the Ghost Ops Evader. So he hasn't actually touched a flywheel blaster since then, but he decided to issue me a challenge and say, Dad, set up an obstacle course for me to shoot, and I want to try to do it with the Revoltinator. So I have a question for you guys. How many out of the six targets do you think he'll get? Think about it. Drop it in the comment section. We'll be back in a minute. Guy pick six because I'm doing all of them. Whoa! Quick run through of the course. Caleb will first have to sprint over to the chair, grab the revoltinator, load one magazine of 18 darts. He will then come around to where the circle is and he will take out those Zuru X-Shot targets right there. Once he hits it and any one of them fall over, he's completed that checkpoint. He will then move to the edge of this carpet and fire back at the Nerf rival target. Once he's nailed that, he will proceed out into the hallway where he will stop here, aim down the hallway at the target right there on the wall. Once he's nailed that, he will turn around, come to the edge of the rug where he will proceed to nail that rival target with the bell and the two window targets. Keep in mind, he does have three spare magazines with AccuStrike darts right here at the ready in case he needs more ammo. You sure you're ready? Yes! Okay, remember, it's a flywheel blaster, so you gotta keep the motor revved, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Did you place your bets in the comment section? How many out of six do you think you'll get? Caleb, are you ready? In three, two, one, go! Stop! Yes, out to the edge of the carpet. Turn around. Give me the rival target. Oh, he nailed it on the first one. Down the hallway to the left. Nailed it. Three targets left. Good. Two. Got the middle one. Did you get the rival? You got the rival? See, I told you I can nail our six. Yes, he did. And I got to apologize to you guys. We would have normally celebrated the win, but I wasn't positive if he had nailed the rival target until I went back and looked at the tape and I saw that he clearly did. So he actually finished the course with one magazine and he actually had darts to spare. So that's a great job with the flywheel blaster. Now I have a question for you. You handled the blaster pretty well. And what would be your overall take on the revoltinator? A cheesy because you must wind it up and thumbs on that for that. And then it shoots out because it makes noise. You like the fact that it makes so, noise? So I can find you in the dark because it lights. You, like, <laughs> you can find me in the dark because it lights. That's pretty cool. Did you actually like running around with this thing? Yeah, because I can like to hold. You like to hold it? Yeah, because I Oh, it's light. It's light to hold. Gotcha. Yeah. So you could run with it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but I like the mulch bomb if you, because you can but carry it around with one okay, So overall, would you recommend this blaster to kids? Yes, because it's a cool blaster. It's a cool blaster? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for your input. I'm sure everybody is going to be very Sam, happy. That's blaster. My dad.
The results of the Revoltinator's max effective range with the green elite darts came out everywhere from about 45 feet to as much as 55 feet. That was about the standard on a flat level plane. As far as max effective range, we did that with Nerf AccuStrike darts and I got anywhere between 65 to as much as 70 feet. So this is about the Nerf average, not bad performed admirably. Guys, I realize I've been switching up the format a little bit within this video and some of the more recent ones. And you know what? That brings me to another point. If you would like to see some of the other recent reviews I've done here in 2019, click that card popping in the upper right hand corner and it'll take you to a bunch of videos just like these. And one last small request, guys, if you're enjoying this video and like seeing my son more involved in the videos, do me a favor, smash that like button and also subscribe if you are new to this channel. And if you're not, new to this channel and you're not subscribed, yo, dude, what's wrong with you? It's free, bro. Hit the button. All right, back to my personal opinion of the Revoltinator. The Revoltinator comes with an average retail price of $49.99 and can be found right now on Amazon.com. For that price tag, you're going to get the blaster itself, an 18 round magazine, as well as 18 elite darts. So my friends, I decided to switch up the format at the beginning of this video a little bit due to the fact that the Revoltinator has a ton of bells and whistles. And I mean literally, you pull the rev trigger and literally you're gonna get two different light up effects. The first one, and then the second one if you go and do it again. It alternates between the two at all times. Now, if there is no magazine in the blaster, they can actually still have fun running around because the light effects will still work, as well as when they pull the trigger, you get this light that shoots across just like a laser from a laser gun. So that is a pretty cool effect on this blaster. The only thing I'm curious to see is it does take four AA batteries, which are installed right in here. But the four AA batteries actually run all the lights and sound effects in the blaster, which cannot be shut off, as well as the flywheels. So I'm curious to know what battery life will be in this blaster over the long term. Since this blaster is really going to be designed for a younger gen demographic, I really wanted to go ahead and put my son through a little bit of a gauntlet to really show you guys what this blaster was like in smaller hands. Now, speaking of smaller hands, that's the one problem as an adult I kind of have a little bit with this blaster. This is one of the first blasters where the whole entire grip assembly is really just uncomfortable even for me and I have medium to large hands I don't have overly giant hands but even in here it's kind of cramped um, on this side my hand is kind of pushing into this fake rebar which is you know it's just kind of uncomfortable like I always feel like I'm cramped in here everything in here is compact so smaller hands like my son's he actually excels with this me eh. It's a little uncomfortable, but I can still operate the blaster with no problems, but it's just a little bit of a pet peeve. Aesthetic wise, I think the blaster is absolutely incredible looking. On this side, on this side, they didn't paint anything, so not so much. With an 18 round capacity, carrying handle up on top with an extra tactical rail, tactical rail in the front, as well as an end strike adapter so you can put on another barrel to make this blaster even longer. The beautiful thing about it, it is quite light, my son's only five and he's able to operate this with absolutely zero problems. So for a $50 price tag, you're really going to need to decide whether or not it is for you. I actually kind of dig it. I had a lot of fun playing around with this with my son. We had a ball. We were chasing one another, kind of like in a dark house. The light up was going. Um, keep in mind, the lights and the sounds are always on the minute you rev the trigger. So if you're looking for that stealthy mode, hey, this ain't your blaster, okay? because they're going to hear you coming a mile away. So my friends, that's going to wrap things up. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid. I'm CJ. See you on the next one. Coming soon.